Pakistan Army has a long and distinguished history of serving with the United Nations. By and large, UN peacekeeping missions are complex and highly demanding and require highly professional soldiers and participants. The very roots of our commitment with the UN for promoting international peace and security stems from the vision of the founding father, Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Our foreign policy is one of friendliness and goodwill towards all the nations of the world. We believe in the principle of honesty and fair play in national and international dealings and are prepared to make our utmost contribution to the promotion of peace and prosperity among the nations of the world. Pakistan will never be found lacking in extending its material and moral support to the oppressed and suppressed peoples of the world and in upholding the principles of the United Nations Charter. Going back in history, Pakistan joined the United Nations on 30th of September 1947 and which marked the beginning of an illustrious era that is unmatched in history. Our support to UN peacekeeping operations began in 1960 when Pakistan deployed its first ever contingent in United Nations operations in Congo. Taking this initial step forward, over the past 56 years, Pakistan has been instrumental in implementing the mandate of United Nations across the world. Our feats are unparalleled in this regard. United Nations peacekeeping missions cover a long and cherished history of Pakistani association with the United Nations. Our peacekeeping troops have hitherto participated in 41 United Nations peacekeeping missions, including some of the most challenging ones. In spirit of sacrificing our today for the world's tomorrow, 146 Pakistani peacekeepers have sacrificed their lives, including 23 officers in the noble cause of helping humanity, building peace and restoring stability in turbulent regions under the auspices of the United Nations. It's imperative to highlight Pakistan's contribution in the history of United Nations peacekeeping roles. In a tribute to the precious lives laid down by Pakistani peacekeepers while serving under United Nations, Secretary General Kofi Annan has acknowledged, Your soldiers have made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of the world peace and the United Nations. I salute this record of global idealism because I believe it reflects a determination among the Pakistani people to serve the world. Taking stock of Pakistan's overall efforts in promoting peace and security across the world, Pakistan has remained one of the largest and most effective troop contributing country consistently for years. Our contingents abroad have played a significant role in normalizing war-torn conditions, mainly law and order, and ensuring successful transition of political processes through supervision of elections. To assist war-affected countries in rebuilding and staying secure, Pakistan Army engineers not only undertook and completed challenging tasks of developing and reconstructing thousands of kilometers of roads, complemented with bridges, establishment of schools and necessary infrastructure to improve the livelihood, but also actively participated in demining operations wherever required, risking own lives to make the world a better place. To serve humanity at its best, our medical staff has been instrumental in improving health conditions of war-affected nations and communities. By establishing state-of-the-art medical facilities complemented by highly professional and competent teams of doctors, Pakistani contingents have and continue to make a difference in people's lives, a feat much respected by all. Our contingents having multi-dimensional skill sets ranging from highly trained special forces, state-of-the-art aviation assets, robust mobile mechanized units 
and most important of all, battle-hardened infantry soldiers are much respected the world over. Remarks of U.S. Major General Thomas M. Montgomery Deputy Commander United Nations Forces in Somalia in 1993 eulogizing Pakistan peacekeepers who undertook a daring joint rescue operation Black Hawk Down to save stranded U.S. Rangers from the stronghold of warlord General Farah Adid are testimony of professionalism and commitment of Pakistani troops. Many of the soldiers are alive today because of the willingness and the skill of Pakistani soldiers who work jointly in a rescue operation. We are thankful to the people and the army of Pakistan for sending such splendid soldiers to Somalia whom we feel proud to serve with. Pakistani soldiers have been completely dependable even in the most difficult circumstances. They have shouldered a huge and dangerous load for UNISOM and the Somali people. Performance of Pakistan in United Nations mission has been excellent and recognized internationally. The efforts of Pakistani peacekeepers have been widely acknowledged worldwide by numerous world leaders in United Nations leadership. Pakbat has not only protected us, but has also infused a new spirit into our lives. They have given us all sorts of humanitarian help and above all, have given us a constant medical care in form of their hospital. I wish to reaffirm my gratitude and appreciation for the professionalism the Pakistani contingent has displayed during stay in Eastern Slovenia. They are indeed performing great services to humanity. The only example in United Nations history when a United Nations military force had gone in, performed its role honestly and came out was Pakistan's military contingent in Indonesia. It was because of Pakistani troops that Indonesia and Pakistan came close together. They were Pakistan's best ambassadors. It gives me great pleasure to express my warmest congratulations and sincere admiration for the splendid work the officers and men of Pakistani battalion have done all over Haiti. Pakistan has established Center for International Peace and Stability in 2013. With establishment of this center, Pakistan has become one of the few countries in the world having such a professional platform that promotes peacekeeping in its entirety. United Nations Secretary General on inauguration of the center said, I sense great confidence and hope here today, but the feeling that overwhelms me is gratitude. Gratitude as the United Nations Secretary General and gratitude as a global citizen for what Pakistan and her people have been doing for international peace and security. More than 100 countries contribute troops and police for United Nations peacekeeping missions. Pakistan is number one. It's impossible to speak about the history of United Nations peacekeeping without highlighting such contributions of Pakistan. I thank you very much. Presently, Pakistani peacekeepers are deployed in Congo, Liberia, Ivory Coast, Darfur, Central African Republic, Western Sahara and Haiti, helping humanitarian cause, bringing stability and promoting peace thus building a secure and peaceful world. In spirit of our dedication to United Nations peacekeeping operations, Pakistan has been the forerunner in the proactive initiative for peacekeeping capability readiness system. Our participation has been appreciated by all. Commemorating this highly auspicious United Nations Day, Pakistan's resolve to assist the world in maintaining peace and security remains unwavering. We are committed to the United Nations in ensuring that the world becomes a better place for our future generation. Pakistan, being a responsible member of the international community, has in the past and will continue in the future to play its rightful role in helping humanity and promoting peace.